بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين والصلاة والسلام على أشرف الأنبياء والمرسلين نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه أجمعين Dear viewers across the globe I greet you with the greeting of peace the greeting that does its best to spread that shows people that one of our tasks as Muslim is spreading peace by statements, by words, by actions. And I hope Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala would give us support to spread this message in the world so that people would enjoy living a better life and a more peaceful life than we are living right now. Dear viewers, the main theme of these episodes is about understanding Islam. Uh, in this episode and the others that will come, we explain Islam in the way that we learn from the Quran and from the traditions of Prophet Muhammad We don't explain it according to our understanding from our parents, according to our, uh, our understanding from our teachers, we try to give you the quotations from the Quran, what exactly Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala had said, so that it would be evidence for everyone to learn from. Here again, as we said, that Quran is a guidance, as we know that in the first chapter, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala told us that this is guidance for believers, guidance for mankind. So here, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, again, as I mentioned in other chapters, is trying to explain to us the nature of Jesus, peace be upon him, and the nature of his mother, and tell the stories, that's very accurate, precise stories, because as you know that, yes, Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam came after Jesus, so the Quran that he carried to us, the Quran, the Quran that was given to him by Almighty Allah, it has the answers of all the questions that took place after the birth of Jesus, which were people were confused because we have uh, many answers, and perhaps if not all of them, the majority of them, or almost all of them, are incorrect. And the Quran here tells us the scenario even of what happened. Here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving us the scenario when Jesus was born as an infant and he shows to us whether he is a man, whether he is a human, whether he is divine and what happened exactly. When Mary, peace be upon her, gave birth to Muhammad to Jesus, peace be upon him, because she is his mother, she was pregnant and she came, when she gave birth she came to her people carrying the baby. And the first response of the people, unfortunately, was accusing her of adultery. They said to her, right, she made an oath, a vow to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that she is not going to speak to any human being on that day. She came carrying, as the Quran describes it, أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم, and this is in chapter called Mary. And let me just take a pause here and explain to you the beauty of this. There is a chapter called Mary in the Holy Quran. There is no chapter called Aisha. There is no chapter called Khadija. There is no chapter called Safiya. There is no chapter called Amina. That all of them are the relatives and the wives, the mother of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu There is no chapter in the Holy Quran that carries any of the names of the relatives, the wives or the mother of Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu But there is a chapter, a chapter called Mary to show the significance and the importance of Mary in our belief and to show that Muslims are not biased. This is the proof, this is the evidence, a whole bulky chapter in the Quran 
that talks about the mother of Jesus has a kind of respect for her. Here, she came in this scenario, carrying the baby. And let me recite this in the uh, Arabic language, the language of the Quran. أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم فأتت به قومها تحمله قالوا يا مريم لقد جئت شيئا فريا يا أخت هارون ما كان أبوك امرأ سوء وما كانت أمك بغية فأشارت إليه قالوا كيف نكلم من كان في المهد صبيا قال إني عبد الله آتاني الكتاب وجعلني نبيا وجعلني مباركا أينما كنت وأوصاني بالصلاة والزكاة ما دمت حيا وبرم دوالدتي ولم يجعلني جبارا شقيا والسلام علي يوم ولدت ويوم أموت ويوم أبعث حيا ذلك عيسى بن مريم قول الحق الذي فيه يمترون ما كان لله أن يتخذ من ولد سبحانه إذا قضى أمرا فإنما يقول له كن فيكون In brief I would explain these verses She came to her people carrying him as an infant, as a baby, or carrying it. Immediately they responded by making this comment. مَا كَانَ يَا مَرْيَمُ لَقَدْ جِئْتِ شَيْئًا فَرِيَّ You brought us something very strange. You did something very bad, referring to adultery, because they knew the mother, and they knew that there is no father. يا أخت هارون أو يو ذا سيستر أوف إيرين يور فاذر واز نوت أ باد بيرسون أند يور مذر واز أن تشست شي واز أ تشست وومن يور مذر واز أ جود وومن يور فاذر واز أ جود وومن هاو ديد يو دو ساتش أ باد ديد هاو دير يو ذي بوت هير إن ذات ذات باد سيتويشن باي أكيوزينغ هير ويزاوت نولج without even trying to seek the truth, to look for an evidence of what they said. But immediately they accused her and attacked her. What could she do? Because she vowed that she would not speak to any human being. And then she pointed to him. She pointed to the baby, to the child, who is an infant. Because she vowed, she made an oath that she is not going to speak to anyone this day. And they responded, of course, logically, saying that how can we talk, how can we speak to a child who is just an infant? How can we know the truth and you are pointing to the baby? And here comes the miracle of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And he made Jesus, peace be upon him, speak in his infancy, which is a miracle of uh, this great messenger of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So immediately what happened, Jesus as a child, an infant, started to speak. And what was the first word that he said? And look and reflect upon this. He did not defend his mother. Rather, he tried to show them something more miraculous than this, something that's more important than his mother. And he said that, قَالَ إِنِّي عَبْدُ اللَّهِ The first thing that Jesus admitted in this critical sit situation, that he is a servant and he is a slave of Allah, as Muhammad وسلم, did, exactly. As Muhammad وسلم, used to say, and as as other messengers of Allah used to say, exactly, Jesus said the same statement. Inni Abdullah, I am the slave of Allah. He didn't say that I am the son of God. 
And this is so clear to people that this kind of belief have moved from the truth, from the servant and slave of Allah to as they wrongly believe that Jesus is the son of God. The Quran is very clear and it's very straightforward about this truth. No compromise in saying the truth because this will cause lots of problem and lots of illogical thinking and lots of deviation from the truth in the belief of people about Jesus. He said that, Inni Abdullah, I am the servant and I am the slave of Allah. Daniel Kitab, he gave me the book, he gave me the Bible, he gave me Al Injil, and Wajalani Nabiya, he made me a messenger, he made me a prophet. Look at these facts combined together. So he is the slave of Allah, he got the book, he got the Al Injil, the Bible from Allah. And Allah made him as a messenger, as a, as a prophet. These are the facts, the truth about Jesus. And he made me blessed wherever I am. Allah blessed me wherever I go. And he enjoined me to do the prayer and to pay zakah as long as I am alive. Which means that implies that Jesus is going to die, according to this. وَبَرَّمْ بِوَالِدَتِي That I treat my mother in a very good way. Remember, he said about my mother. He didn't say about my father. He didn't say about my parents, father and mother, because he has a mother and he doesn't have a father. See how many times the Quran is confirming this truth, and how many times still deviate from the truth. And he did not me make me a naughty and a bad guy. And peace be upon me the day I was born and the day I will be die. And the day that I will be resurrected, showing the same steps that every human being goes through. And then here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala makes it this statement clear, this is Jesus, the son of Mary, and this is this is the true statement about him, that they have some doubts about it. And said, it does not befit Allah, it does not befit the majesty of Allah, to have a child because this is an act of human beings. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, if he wants anything to happen, he would just say be and it becomes. He doesn't need to do what human beings do in order to get a son because this is a quality of humans, not a quality of divine. We do thank Allah that he showed us the truth and he taught us the truth in his holy book and we do thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is for giving us this opportunity to share the truth with everyone so that they will be guided and not swayed from the path of the truth wassalamu alaykum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuhu wa ma'am